All right. Pick a moon weapon. Oh, make it a bit bigger. Okay. Pick a moon weapon to create it. Create in hand? How is that? Okay. Alright, let's check with Twitter first. Alright. The flight. Elusive. One mana. Targon. Draw one. And shuffle me into you the top three cards of your deck. So I'm thinking like like the upside like I'm thinking about TF uh, Targon with Elusives, right? Like sometimes you could hold on onto attacking against specific decks uh, when you do put the when your TF is uh, down on the board and basically uh, yeah flip him in uh, one turn easily with this. I mean, the problem is you are paying one mana to deal two damage, right? Effectively. So this is one mana mystic shot that costs unit mana. Late game drawn uh, really bad. Where mystic shot is way better than top deck late game. Yeah, so it's only good with TF, I think. Yeah. Don't think it's too crazy. But it's elusive blocker as well. It can trade with other elusives, which is nice. One mana draw one. Yeah, but this card removes itself, guys. Like, you don't see that? The downside? It's not one, ma it's not one mana, two damage draw one. Because it, this card kills itself, basically. Wait, it sh shuffle me into the top. It, it takes it from the board and puts it to the deck, right? It doesn't stay on the board. It doesn't shuffle the flight. It shuffles itself. It could be decent in some uh, very, like, puke out hand. With, like, this, this card makes pick a card better as well. Because it's a cheap card that can recycle itself as well, right? And you can put it into the top of your deck and you know you'll draw it with the pick a card later. So you'll be able to play it back. Yeah, it's not the worst. Like, as I said, it'll, like, we, if you don't play TF, you don't play this card. It's only good because of the TF uh, combination. Outside of the TF, uh, yeah, I wouldn't play it. Let's move on. <clears throat> the Sky Shadows, 2 mana. 3-1. When I'm summoned, refill 2 spell mana if you behold a Nightfall card. Wow. Wow, this is uh, bonkers. This enables entire the uh, yeah. This 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 enables a uh, new decks. This is a zero mana free one. Like this is even minus one mana free one sometimes. Or I feel two multiple mana. Yeah, it's a zero mana. Uh, yeah, free one. I love it. Absolutely amazing card. Like again, but it'll be in the spec like it fits in the specific deck. And again, depends what, what are the rest of the cards and if there are any more pings. But all those cards like I don't know like I don't know what was the meta when I was gone. I'm gonna assume it was still TFEs. Uh I wonder if anyone uh, found the counter. Like I um uh, I've immediately thought like if I would be playing ladder last uh, two weeks, I would be playing purely Heimer Zoe. Because Heimer Zoe would demolish, uh, t uh, would should demolish t TF's uh, TF is four mana free to. <laughs> Don't like the stat line. Life steal. Play invoke a celestial card that costs three or less. This card is actually quite nice. The reason why it's nice, like we should see, like the meta should be quite fast, and there should be like. Either of there will be overwhelm decks, there will be elusive decks. Against all of the, those decks, this card is amazing. It's way better than uh, Daybreaker, the Sunforger. Sorry. 
because like you there are so many good things you can invoke here and it's ba it's very good for the zoe karma as well i like this card a lot like this is a pure meta call how good this card will be like if the meta is uh, very slow then yeah obviously this card is not good but if the meta will be as fast as i expect like based on the current uh, patch Plus the cards we've just seen, plus Aphidios will be around, and this card should be good. 5 mana, 5-4. Five, the Cloven Way, Overwhelm. Nightfall, stun an enemy. If it's a follower, stun it again at, at the next round start. Oh, that's not a good card. There is a big problem with the 5 mana Nightfall card. Yeah, you need to run the... I guess the it makes way better the 1 drop. The, the Petal Giver. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna play as well with Aphidios, definitely. At some point. <laughs> the problem is, like, you have to pay one more mana and it needs to be played like spell most likely in the mid game because you won't have like you won't be able to play uh, like maybe if you invoke earlier some uh, zero mana like the as may right and you play as may into this but overall it's a decent one of maybe in some decks but not the best or mana landmark another one each run, the first time you play two other cards, refill two mana and grant your strongest ally plus one plus one. Huh. 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 I hate that this gives to the strongest ally instead of weakest. So you cannot play, you cannot do cool stuff with this on turn four. Because it doesn't count towards itself. Guys, I know that this is a unit uh, mana. But, uh, there, like, remember, this doesn't ramp you. Uh, into higher pool of mana. Because your mana crystals are locked. Like, you, you, you would need to have more, like, mana crystals. To actually, re you cannot refill crystals that you don't have. So, let's say you play this on 4. You play 2 cards on 5. Let's say, Lee into something. No, that's a bad example. Uh... If you play, let's say, uh, this on turn 4, you had uh, 3 banked mana, you had like Eye of the Dragon on the board, and you let's play Sonic Wave and the card that creates Sonic Wave, uh, it actually uh, will give you 2 spell mana, because you don't have the crystals to buff, buff boost you to 7 mana. I mean, if you play Moon Silver into Veiled Temple on turn 3, yeah, you can trigger it on turn 4 refills the mana yes i know but you cannot refill the mana you don't have you do you get it shot so wait you cannot get the spell mana with this if your uh, if your mana is full you do you don't get the spell mana let's say yeah i have five mana uh i spent two cards i spent i spell like i played that like let's say uh, double gem it doesn't give me uh, the mana living legends oh yeah let's read the wording on the living legends yeah okay you're right Chad. exactly so it doesn't give us it, it's only unit mana yeah i'll have to see all other cards like hard to say anything about this starbone Let's go! Some do doggo treat! If 2 mana burst, if you behold the messenger, grant celestial allies everywhere plus 1 plus 1? What the fuck? Doggo deck? Guys, doggo deck? We have emote already for doggo deck! <laughs> Damn! Now what? 
The F Aphelios might be good. No, actually you need to play Zoe uh, to get a higher chance of Doga. Carbon doesn't quite fit in, into the keyword spell cycle. While Targon special was tricky during death, fellow designer Dave Smith's dog Ricky passed away. Oh, So sad. So we broke our own cycle with Celestials as a substitute. A testament to Ricky and other past Dogos. This is so cool! Game. Stress testing. Remove fleeting from all cards in hand. When I am discarded, draw one fleeting. Oh wow. Like, the second part makes it not garbage, because like, if you draw it early, you can just discard it with get excited, you can discard this with the... You can discard this with the... Spacey. This is a huge card for Heimer Zoe. White Argon. Yeah, yeah, I know you guys uh, want to put it with TF immediately. So, you, you want to play this after... After leaving Legends, right? Uh, for the value against uh, like against the control decks and you can go like super fast like you, you can make a super fast decks with triple star shaping and uh, again you can just uh, out value the slow uh, fast decks and you can uh, out value control decks if you play correctly with this i like it cool card Grant an ally regeneration, 2 mana burst. If they already have it, grant them plus 2, plus 2 instead. Oh wow. Oh. Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, I know it looks cool for Trundle Brown, but you guys have to think about one thing. What's your finisher with Trundle Brown? And how do you kill like elusive units? Avalanche? Yeah. You're gonna die before, like, you're gonna avalanche once and then what? I love this card with the... How is it he called? Broadback. This makes Broadback Soraka deck even better. Like, I, if I find a... Like, if they give a bit more removal, like, you need to play for the free of avalanche. But this, Broadback Soraka... Uh, and the the thingy thingy, how is it called? The the landmark, free mana landmark. Pretty good. But uh, you, we have to figure the win condition. Maybe star shaping would be the win condition. Yeah, or maybe we just ignore scar grounds and we go with the star spring instead. That's true. I think we could go like star spring, star shaping deck with this. And just like he only healing cards, we don't care about damaging opponents units, and we just play cog blockers, high HP units, and we play like free of ice quake, free of avalanche, ma he a lot of healing to the face and units, and combat tricks, and yeah, just stall and wait for the star spring to go off, and uh, alternative win con against the decks that can deal with our star spring will be star shaping, uh, and just go for the elusive win con. Yeah, definitely I would play Ember Maiden. Very good card for Ember Maiden as well. Alright, Gluttony. Fast spell SI. Kill an ally with last breath to summon a follower from your deck that costs one more. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Hello? Oh wow, we're gonna be playing Targon meta with free of hash. When do you play even this card? <laughs> like, this looks very cool, very strong. This is a tournament card, like this is a tournament card. I don't think this is a ladder card. He doesn't know? Oh no, they didn't they nerf hash? <laughs> okay, don't spoil chat, don't spoil. But this? This is Pog. Anivia? Rekindler? Sign me up, dude. Three mana, Flurry of the Feasts. Of Feasts. Burst, Grand Ally. 
Plus one plus zero, quick attack. If it already has it, grant it double attack instead. There is some fisting going on here, huh? Fisting, kicking? Damn. Oh, more monkey cars. Lovely. Powder, <laughs> powder pandemonium. Oh my god. Slow for mana. Summon a powder monkey and give a random enemy vulnerable this round. For each time you have activated plunder this game. Oh my god. Yeah, let's... White claws. An ally strikes an enemy. Slow. If it has overwhelm, deal excess damage to the enemy nexus. Cool card! Molten Breath. 6 mana slow Demacia card. An ally with fury strikes the two weakest enemies. I don't think there is much to talk about this card. Our most complex and adaptable champion to date. Man, I'll be fucking playing Aphelios for entire week. I'm not playing anything else, Afi only Aphelios decks. Nothing else. I'm gonna be making fucking... My, my entire side of the decks, this... Like, this... All of this will be Aphelios decks, nothing else.